What are you guys doing in there? I bet you were wondering about this hack right here. On the video, you guys left a bunch of comments about, hey, does this work on other swim baits or does it only work on Z-Man? And then two, I bet you were wondering, Wolf, in the video, you have the swim bait upside down. That's not the way you're supposed to do it. Well, you know, there's multiple different ways to skin a cat. Who in the world ever said skin a cat? Or why would you, if you know, never mind. Anyways, I'll go into a lot of detail on when do you use your swim bait upside down and kind of some of the benefits are, especially when fishing in big schools of bait. But let's hop into it, testing these things. Does it only work on Z-Man or does it work on everything? So first test, big gulp, let's see what happens. There's a white big gulp. Put it on here, run it all the way up to the eyelet. And now we'll go ahead and perform the hack part, which is simply just scooping some of this off. All right, looks like I got it slightly, pulled a bunch of it, and now we're just gonna pull it above that eyelet. Ooh, that didn't work. All right, we'll try it one more time. Maybe on the bottom? Huh. All right, so test number one. Bib gulps don't work for this hack. Number two. This is an old bait that I have that is by hacelure.com. Let's see if this works. There we go. Now we'll do our hack part of it. Go ahead and pull through and, oh, it looks like it might. Nope, pulled right through. You see that it's cracking. Test number three. All right, I figured we'd change it up. Instead of doing all swim baits, let's see if Guggen baits work. If the jig hack method will work on Guggen baits, that's all this is, so let's see. We hook it, pull tight, and... Well, I'll be. That's four for four now, not working. All right, and so let's just go with the old faithful. Here's the Z-Man, my favorite diesel minnow. For this one, so you guys don't freak out, I'll do it the right way. I'll do it the right way facing up. There we go, we're on the barb. Now just take your circle hook. Pull you off some. Go over the eyelet and then just reverse your hook. Pull out. And there you go. So yeah, this still works on the Z-Man. I guess that's the winner. And so there you have it. It looks like the, really the only ones that I can find that you can do this is, is with the Z-Man. Like I said, you can find this brand in the link below. I use Z-Man all the time. It works awesome. So now let's address number two, and that is hooking these things upside down. So yeah, to address the last question, why would you ever want to hook these upside down? But let's think about this. You have a school of fish that you are casting into trying to get the predator fish that are hitting from the bottom to find your bait. If this thing is swimming just like everything else, what's going to make your bait special and they want to target this? Where if you have it turned upside down, even a little crooked, it's swimming irregular, signaling that this bait fish is actually injured there's a better chance your fish is gonna be targeted or your swim bait is gonna be targeted over all those other fish it's competing with. So that's why I do that. And there you have it folks. So I guess if you're gonna use the jig hack, it really does only work on Z-Man. If you know of a bait that it does work on that I didn't show today, leave me a comment below. Let me know what it is. I'll check it out. And number two, I hope you found out a little helpful of why to put a swim bait upside down. I hope it helps you out. If it does and you find any good luck, leave me a comment below, tell me what you caught. I love hearing fish stories. So I hope you guys are doing great. Hope you're staying safe out there. Tell somebody you love them and I will see you on the next video.